everyone. I'm Whitney and welcome to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. Today I have a two-part video for you. Um, number one, I want to be t I want to talk a little bit about the um, August Sew so My Style pattern, which is the Halifax hoodie by uh, Hey June Patterns. And then secondly, I wanted to kind of go into um, a little bit of sewing activewear a little. Um, mainly golf. I'm a golfer. My husband golfs. Our children golf. Uh, and I am doing the ready to wear fast this year, so I was forced to make myself a golf outfit. So um, that will be the second um, half of this video for those that aren't interested in sewing for golfing um, or active wear. You can just watch this first part and then end it there, I guess. So starting off, uh, like I said, I am part of the um, hashtag Sew My Style 2018, and for those of you not aware, that is a sewing challenge that started at the beginning of the year, um, and there is a new pattern each month. So 12 patterns total throughout the year, and the challenge is to put your own spin on the pattern and hopefully get out of your comfort zone, try something a little different, um, and that kind of thing. And I have made all, let's see, what are we in? We're in month eight. <laughs> I've made all eight patterns so far and plan to finish out the rest of the year. So for August, the uh, sewing pattern was the Hey June, or the Halifax hoodie by Hey June Patterns. Um, I, I, well, I'm wearing it right now. Clearly I did not make the hoodie version. Uh, there are five versions that come along with this pattern and I'm gonna insert a picture of the pattern up here so that you can um, kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, originally, I had planned on doing View E but ran out of fabric and had to omit the cowl. Um, so actually on this version, I actually cut the neckline for view E instead of view B um, and then had to scramble to kind of just figure out a neckband, which isn't hard to do. Um, I just measured it and subtracted 15% because it's a stretchy knit and um, applied the neckband per usual. So it's a little wider than the pattern um, would, have you, would have you normally do. Anyway, I'm gonna pop in some video of myself while I'm talking here about this pattern. So as you can see, it has some um, very interesting style lines like the side seams wrap around to the front I think that is just very very interesting um, but other than that uh, for this very simple version it's pretty straightforward sweatshirt pattern really um, and to be honest I was on the fence about this one I wasn't sure that I really needed another sweatshirt pattern in my pattern stash but I had committed to doing the challenge and thought well you know I'll try it out and I actually am finding that it's very flattering and um, I might even make one up in um, maybe a ponte or something to actually wear as a sweater or sweatshirt uh, this winter. So um, we'll see if that kind of comes back around because this thing whipped up in no time at all. Um, for this version though, you can see I um, opted to use an athletic dry wicking away fabric from Joanne Fabrics. Um, if these are still available, I will link them down below. Um, it's a heavy duty, almost a bonded, so it's black on one side, uh, and then this this print on the other, you can kind of see it's, yeah, black. It is super soft. It's completely polyester, but really, really soft and perfect for activewear. So um, my plan was, um, like I said, I had committed to doing the Ready to Wear Fast this year as well for 2018, and I found myself in need of some new golfing clothes. <laughs> Uh, like I said before, my husband and I both golf, and our children are starting to golf too, and I just really needed something a little more put together. Um, my husband and I are also going on a trip in October to celebrate his 40th birthday and our 15th wedding anniversary. So we're going to do a little golfing out there too, and I know I'm going to need some collared shirts, and um, so anyway, I decided just to kind of delve in. So I opted to make this Halifax hoodie more of an active wear um, state of mind. So anyway, these are the videos of um, I'm showing you here at me moving in it and everything else. But like I said, I'm finding it very flattering. So what started all of this was my quest, like I said, to make some golfing clothes. So I went to, um, if you all are familiar with Jaylee Patterns, it's um, J-A-L-I-E. Uh, they are a pattern company in Canada, and they do printed and PDF patterns. Their patterns are the best value for money because they literally include like 27 sizes and all like from kids all the way up to like large men. I mean, I have a sweatshirt pattern of theirs that goes from small kids all the way up to like men's sizes. So um, 
it's an incredible value for money for all their patterns. But they specialize in activewear and different, um, oh, different specialties, you know, like dance costumes and ice skating costumes and stuff like that. But they do have some things that can definitely be um, switched over to golfwear. So to start off, and again, I'm going to be popping in pictures of me twirling and prancing and swirling around in these clothes so you can see them in action. Um, but I made, let me try and hold it up, in the same fabric clearly, the um, sports skort. I'm going to put a picture of the pattern up here. Uh, ideally, it's for running, but this is exactly like the golf skorts that I see at Dick's and everything else. Um, it has these wonderful little pockets on the side for, well, for the purpose for golf balls, your golf tees, that kind of stuff. It's great to have pockets in your, um, or if you were running in it, your phone or just keys, whatever. Um, I really love it. So cute little sport, nice and short, and it has the little running shorts. Um, oops, got that caught up. The little running shorts underneath it. Um, that honestly, now that I've made this up, they're a little long. They have a tendency because they kind of catch on your thighs to um, be a little bit longer than the skirt occasionally. So I'm probably going to fix that in my next version, but I am going to make some more of these. I have played a round of golf in it and it just worked marvelously. So uh, my thought was this skirt with this polo I'm going to show you here in a minute and then to have the uh, sweatshirt um, for when it's a little bit cooler, especially at the beginnings of rounds. A lot of times you're starting earlier in the day and it's a little chilly and it's nice to have layers to be able to strip off as the day uh, progresses and the heat builds. Um, so the second pattern that I made um, to complete my little outfit here was the, um, also by Jaylee Patterns, the women's polo. And I'll pop a picture here. So it's kind of floppy. It's kind of, it's much better on the body. So I used this other um, activewear knit that I also got at Joann's that clearly, I mean, the bolts of fabric are right next to each other and they're, I, they're probably made to go together. But it is, um, in fact, you can almost kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see, you can see through it. Like it's, got, it's um, uh, vented, almost like the Under Armour and everything else where it almost has like little bitty holes in it. Um, it was so comfortable to wear in, in the heat when I played in it. Um, I made mine sleeveless, which I don't think it, in the pattern, it's not that option. Honestly, I just folded my, um, <laughs> my arm, the seam allowance for the arm's eye in and I cover stitched it and it works perfectly. So, um, I know technically that's not the right way to do it, but it has worked perfectly and I wanted a sleeveless one. And I also um, find it really flattering, and I've got pictures here. I will probably make a few more, and uh, maybe some with some sleeved versions, um, for especially for fall golf and that kind of thing. But um, I'm very pleased with the whole grouping um, as a whole, and these were all kind of like wearable muslins to kind of test everything out. And I'm also super impressed with the activewear line at Joann's. So if you are wanting to try some activewear sewing, definitely check out Joann's. You can always use coupons um, for that kind of thing. In fact, I think they're on sale right now. I think I saw that. Um, I'm headed there tomorrow to do some pattern shopping. So I may take a peek. <laughs> anyway, um, that is it for today. Uh, I will have a blog post that kind of goes into all three of these items a little bit more in depth, some of the changes um, and alterations that I made to the patterns. Um, so if you're fancying trying these patterns and have maybe similar uh, fit adjustments that you have to make, then you can see what I've done to, um, to fix mine. So anyway, that's all for today. Um, I think next video, um, I'm actually in my fall transition wardrobe. I have two items completed, one is cut out, and I am pattern shopping for the jacket um, tomorrow. So hopefully by the end of next week, I will have all four pieces completed so that the first week of September, I'll be able to show you the whole little um, fall transition wardrobe in its entirety. Um, but for next week, I thought one of the pieces that was previously made were my Ginny um, pants for the Ginny overalls from Closet Case Patterns. And uh, I know when I, culottes kind of take a little bit of getting used to, you know? They're um, a little tricky to style, I think. I was very hesitant to, to wear them. Um, and finding ways to wear them, even though I love, have loved them for a couple of years now. 
So anyway, I thought I would do maybe a little um, roundup on me four or five ways that I style my wide leg culottes. So I think that might be the video for next week. So you can have that to look forward to. And then the fall transition wardrobe the following week. So anyway, um, don't forget, please, please like, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please hit subscribe. I'm trying to up my, um, my subscribers and if I can get to, honestly, I think I have 22 subscribers right now and I've been like over the moon. Like that's just amazing to me that people actually would sit and listen to me talk. But um, if we can get, I think if we can get to, um, I mean, ideally like a thousand subscribers, then I'm going to start doing some giveaways, people. Like that's exciting stuff. And I love, I love the comments. I love the chatting. So yeah, leave a comment, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up so that other people can find me. Um, and until next time, happy sewing. Bye.